Only a prestigious handbag is many girls' dream, says Byron New, owner of Milan Station. A quick look around Times Square in Causeway Bay, where Milan Station's flagship store is located, seems to confirm this hypothesis. Women of all ages clutch luxurious handbags from one of the biggest fashion houses, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, and Hermes. But in a time of global recession, these dreams may be financially out of reach. You said, "We make these dreams come true at a lower cost." Business at Milan Station, a chain of stores which buys and sells used handbags, thrives in times like this. A monogram canvas trouvo will cost you ten thousand seven hundred dollars from the Louis Vuitton store. Here, it can be snapped up for as little as five thousand three hundred dollars. These kind of deals attract all men of our customers. The tourists from the mainland make up about half of their business. Business is brisk, but Milan Station, like many Hong Kong business, operates on a razor thin margin. The stores sell the handbags at a 10% margin, and offer to buy back recently sold bags at 70% of the sale price, so that can squeeze more profit out of the same inventory. The survival of the store rests with their relatively low costs. They operate out of wholly owned premises. It is impossible to sustain profitability without running the business in our own property, says you. This is the nature of Hong Kong's retail business. For the South China Morning Post, this is Denise Tang.